Oh no! Quick, Chris, she's seizing. Do something. Oh no! Ah! Oh! Ah! Harder! Hit her harder! Ah! Oh! Oh! There we go. Okay. okay. Well, okay. hello, welcome to the Drop and Proud Podcast. Hey, I'm Chris. As, I'm Nick, and as you guys can probably tell by the random slapping, we have a guest today. Hello. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk, but my name's Ariana, and um, hey, how's it going? We could actually have you speak up a little bit. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. My name's Ariana. Hey, how's it going? There we go. Now you see your, uh, hey, your voice waves. Don't talk too loud, otherwise you might think your opinion matters. <laughs> I'm from North Dakota. North Dakota. Hey, my dad's from North Dakota, and there's this song that's like the first line is a... Uh, 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 I I bad word you North Dakota. You're the neighbor of my least favorite state right now, and that that's from one of the bands that I like because I'm a loser who likes silly bands. So Ariana, you like bands, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm into like some weird bands, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Like that, uh, like that Zan Maluk. Zayn Malik. Yeah. Oh, I know that guy. He's, <laughs> He's from not a the, band. Uh, so... Is he related to Barack Hussein Obama? Uh, Hussein? Yes, yes did, actually. Did I mention Hussein Obama? His cousins Osama Osama bin Laden. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. Hey, hey, that's offensive. I hey, know. That's why Zane I said I didn't. Zane did 9/11. Zane did hey, do hey, that. Hey, hey, hey! I don't appreciate that. Okay, everybody knows it was Bush. Uh, please be respectful to everyone who lost their lives that's in that like, accident. That's like saying the Illuminati's real. <laughs> don't um, kill me. As a member of the Illuminati, <laughs> I would appreciate you don't talk about my family oh, that yeah, way. You are, yeah, because you otherwise, are I might have to put a goat's head on uh, a goat. I'm a virgin, Cause, cause and that, that'll that's, work that, out. That's where goats do. That's where goats go. Sacrifice. <laughs> Did somebody man. say toga party? This is. This is probably the most random one. Exactly. <laughs> the most random intro hey, that we've so had so today, far. Today, our first topic is probably going to be uh, Ariana here. You guys don't know her, but... <laughs> you could uh, know her. Yeah, you could know her. <laughs> you might, if you're a cool person. She's from uh, a couple videos that we've done, and uh, we, we have that on my channel, and it's called the With Ari series. Really. Yeah. And it's pronounced Ari, but, with you know, Ari. whatever. <laughs> the, the, <No. laughs> the series is super cool and super fun. I mean, I, I was part of those... Uh, mm -hmm. A couple of them, a couple of them they made while they were out on their own without me, like usual. Just you kidding. appear in the uh, in the one with reality with Ari with uh, with the horse head. Uh, actually, <laughs> sir, I think you would, I would uh, prefer it if you called me an equestrian American. Oh, okay. Because that is my uh, that's how I identify <laughs> you uh, know when how I'm in that setting. They don't have gender roles, like no human roles. No, they, 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 they just have horse roles. I There's, feel uh, like I... horse play. Uh, yeah, like the horse play. <laughs> horse. You identify as horseplay? <laughs> yep. Okay. There was there was a day that we went to school with the uh, the horse head on, and the teachers were all saying the exact same joke, like, "Hey, no horseplay." <laughs> Honestly, it's like kind of a kink thing. To me, it seems like kind of a kink thing. I don't know. I I look at a horse head and I'm just like, "Oh, it's kind of kinky," but uh, you know, if that's your, you know, if that's your, if that's your, if thing, that's no your thing, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm turned up high. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, but uh, but in all uh, serious guys, seriousness, seriousness. In all uh, seriousness, uh, Ariana here is a dear friend to uh, Chris and I, and she's mm -hmm. probably what could be considered our third musketeer. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, and she, she, I I don't know the names of the, of the musketeers. I'm not as cultured as I like to believe I am, but she's the one with the French name. That's the joke. They all have French names. I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know. get it. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, I got it. Yeah. We've, we've known Ariana since... Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yeah. Kindergarten. That's pretty interesting, huh? Did you know that kindergarten is a German word? In German, kinder is child. Mm -hmm. And oh. I don't know how I can still handle you guys, but I'm here. Crack cocaine okay. is bad for you, so don't do it, kids. Rub it in your teeth. It's like, mm, hey, if you don't have toothpaste... Hey, hey so what I was saying oh, earlier... Sorry. Um, I licked the mic earlier. <laughs> yeah, Chris licked the mic. Uh, just so you guys know, don't lick random microphones, because Chris now has gingivitis and halitosis. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know halitosis. You know halitosis just means bad breath? Exactly. Halitosis sounds super serious, but it just means bad breath. It sounds like a cancer. Uh, another fun fact, uh, Listerine does not actually work for some people. For some people, it makes their breath even worse. Mm -hmm. I can really? attest to this, because my uncle... Is one of those poor people. <laughs> Maybe your uncle just sucks. Hey, washing his mouth. Just kidding. I bet your uncle's great. <laughs> I bet your uncle has a potty mouth. I'm getting paid to be on here. Hey, that's not true. <laughs> Don't Put this me. money in your mouth and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, so it's that's gagging. my mouth. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. 
Uh, so, Ariana, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Hey, I'm Ariana. Um, I really dig music. I... Gay. Okay, thanks. I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really into music. That's kind of like my muse. Um, yeah, there's not much to me. I like to have a good time. I'm pretty... Pers- I'm sarcastic. Like, really sarcastic. You yeah. Sound like, uh, <laughs> you sound like one of those, you know, quick dating shows. Or not dating shows, <laughs> but quick dating things where it's all like, Hi, I'm Ariana. I'm 37. I like to have a good time. <laughs> like, yeah, hi, I'm Ariana. I'm from, like, New Jersey. I like to get my nails done, obviously. Can't you tell? They're, like, perf. I go to the club on the weekends. I ran into Snooki one time. We're, like, best friends now. That's about it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and I don't do my own laundry, and I live with my parents still. You have quite the life. MTV, sign me up. No. <laughs> But well, Ariana, you also have this improv class hey, with wait, us that we made. Wait, 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 guys, hold on. <laughs> I know I'm interrupting you, and I'm sorry, I'm a horrible person, but I just realized something. Ariana is now our Jerome, because we're her blonde boys. Am I going to kill myself? Hey. What? Just kidding. No. Was it Jerome? Every time, yeah. It was Jerome. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Every for, time you mention him, I cry. Uh, 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 for those of you who don't know, uh, Jerome was the uh, alias... Of one of our favorite YouTubers who uh, took his life, probably he passed about, away. He passed yeah, away. he he, pa- he passed away about a year ago. And Ariana is just a super uh, <laughs> insensitive, but respect to Jerome. It's I don't know. I just I personally uh, let's take a few seconds to honor <laughs> his life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who was in the audience and was quiet for that. I'm sure you know what you could just uh, take take a silence for the rest of the video if you're watching this by yourself. Yeah, just yeah. ignore my laughing in the background. It's not it's not funny, but I, I I it was I don't know I felt awkward I felt obligated to laugh. Yeah. We I also don't have know. a very dark sense of humor. Yeah, I do mostly. I laugh and it's bad, but it's okay, you know. Yeah. Ooh, we can talk about the play that's coming up. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. It's about um politics. Politics. And electing and stuff. Mm-hmm. What are politics? Is that something that matters? No, it Not doesn't really. matter. It's just your country. <laughs> Who oh, cares my, about my, that? My, my country? I don't like my country. It's only Man. America. We just get fat. It's so. America. that we're the seat of the country. Is that how it's said? Oh, the seat of the country? What? That sounds like a bad porn. <laughs> <though>. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trying to keep it PG. <laughs> America's next uh, top model. That's what we are. America's next top porn. <laughs> I just wish that uh, there was more... I don't know. I, I, when it comes to politics, I wish there was a little bit more uh, seriousness <laughs> where people actually looked at the uh, the candidates you know, issues and stuff instead mm-hmm. of just what they read on Twitter. Especially is... just just with this last this last election, like it's setting something up for the next elections that I don't personally feel is great. I know. It's the silliest thing. The fact that the mayor of Fresno would go on to Twitter and say something and then the guy running against him would say something else. Gosh. It's like guys, you guys are running for mayor. But we like, all why know are you being so rude to each other? Fresno's just a huge methadone clinic. Everyone who walks in's addicted. They walk out, they're still addicted. It just Pers- doesn't work. Personally, my bias, I know this doesn't sound super super bad, but you know, brand for mayor. Am I right? Or am I I'm probably wrong. He's Republican from what I've heard. Mm. I have no idea what we're talking about. We're not even <laughs> from Fresno. What is this? Nick, don't lie. <laughs> no, Chris, what if I get axe murdered? That's not fun. Fresno's a big city. Oh, yeah. we. Get, did you know that Fresno's actually bigger than Sacramento? So try and kill me now, axe I'm, murderer. I'm actually from uh, Yosemite. I'm actually from Fresno. I'm visiting Fresno right now. Uh, so. I was born in oh. Santa Rosa, California. See? Nick and I are actually twin brothers. Oh, yeah. This is my... Uh, her real name is actually... Uh, Armando. Armando. Armando Jerome Venezuela Baines. Yeah, not Ven- not uh, Venezuela, but Venezuela. Uh, <laughs> her great great grandfather invented vans. Our cousin's Amanda Bynes. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah, like we saw her one Christmas. She was totally okay, you know, Nickelodeon doing her good. And the next second, cocaine, right? Dang. Yeah, it happens, but. Mm. Let's take a quick pause out of the podcast for uh, Amanda Bynes. Yeah. Actually, no. She cleaned up her life recently, so I don't think that pause is necessary. But nothing will clean up those dimple piercings. Am I right, ladies? Uh-huh. I'm just... I don't know. 
Like, I feel like the people that listen to our podcast have no idea what we're talking about because it's pretty much my grandma, my mom, and, like, Chris's parents. I'm an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. You have no idea what's happening, but I want to let you know that I love you. Oodles and oodles of lies on this podcast. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hey Chris, that that that's bullying. I'm pretty sure like three percent of what we have said so far has actually been true. <laughs> I mean, true. <laughs> everything I've said, even I, about me being a guy. If I love what? you, Grandma, <laughs> is true. I mean, since it is true, it's probably about it. That's probably about the only thing that we've said on this podcast that is actually true and rep rep. Bleh. What is it called? Reflects us. This is off topic, but tell me why every time, like, I go to CVS and, like, they tell you, oh, get a card, it'll cost less money, right? And then you put in your card, but everything just costs more. Like, okay, like, you bought something, it's, like, four bucks. You put your card in, it's, like, $20,000. Like, I don't, I, I can live without the chocolate. I don't need it, you know? Even when the are little making, child slaves are out there, you know? making poor life decisions? I don't know. Going I just, to CVS? I mean, CVS is just so expensive, and every time I walk in, it smells weird, and I feel like I'm being judged. Why'd you get a card if you don't like going there? Because they're like, it costs less, and I was like, whoa, I'm a cheap mofo. I need this. Mm. And I took it. I uh, I recently bought a pair of uh, jumper cables from o o o O'Reilly Auto, Auto Parts. Parts. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, but I bought some jumper cables there, and they were like, hey, you want to join our re 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 rewards program? And I was like, hey, man, you got to stutter. And he was like, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. And I was like, don't apologize. <laughs> it's fine. But so I joined the re 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 rewards program, and I, I, I don't know. Like, I kind of just signed on the, dotted, on the dotted line. I don't know, like, what <laughs> actually I get from it. I want to say, like, I earn points. And then That's when like I get all points, rewards I, programs, I say, though. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. At my job, they make me, like, sit there and explain the entire thing to them. But, like, everywhere else I've gone, they're just like, oh, yeah, you, you get, like, 1% off. That's yeah. what you need to do, though, so you, they know what they're buying. Yeah, I know, but, I, like, I described the entire thing, but, like, I'm, it makes me upset because nobody, like, no other business I've been to actually explains it to you. They're just like, yeah, it's good for you, I swear. Trust me. And then, they like, scratch their neck a little bit and kind of twitch. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay, I guess. Again, Fresno, methadone clinic right here. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, Chris... You, yeah. Did you have Did you have a good day today? I did. You know what? You, well, actually, if we get down, okay. No, never mind. Um. Yeah. You see, I went to class. I ate food in class. Then I left class, and then, you know, I learned, and then I came here. Sounds kind of gay. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, hey. Uh. Just because Chris is gastrointestinally amazing hermaphrodite yolo i don't know i was trying to think of some sort of acronym for the word gay good at <gasps> y yelling yeah, you just, know yeah, what oh is God. also gay that makes me really gay fall fall's coming that makes me very happy and i'm I super it. excited because mm -hmm. it has been so uh, hot there's been like one day out of this week that was actually like cold enough for me to wear a jacket outside. This town where we live that's definitely not Fresno is <laughs> just like fire. Blazing. It's yeah. like freaking concrete city. Like it feels like it, but it's not. It's like agriculture yeah, central. This is like agriculture, but we call it the concrete jungle, but it's so hot. It feels like <laughs> it is a concrete jungle. Is it, yeah. It's really bad, but well, I'm we super... We live in a desert. So, Chris, you're a desert emotionally oh hey, Ooh, hey you don't nick get any rain. hey what? nick your what? dms are a desert oh, oh. Whoa. Wait, whoa. did you know did wait. you know that this next season of regular show is going to be the last season wait it is yeah wait well, really but, yeah wait, yeah it, it's not it's not like what's it called i i saw a thing on it and the creator of regular show had made a tweet saying, well, it's been good, guys, but this is the last one and something like or something Wait, like are that. you serious? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Dude, that's my show. Yeah, it, it's not it's not uh, in line for another season after. Is it because not a lot of people are? Well, I don't understand. How come people don't watch regular show? It is such a good show. Like it is. everyone's like Steven Universe. Oh, my God. Adventure Time. Oh, my God. And I'm just like regular show because I'm that type of kid. Because regular Especially show is a good show. Yeah, because um, the creator of the show is actually from like the valley. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I have like connection. Like I feel a connection a with what guy. he's putting out. And like, ah, it's just so sad because it was so beautiful. Like that show isn't. Okay. It's like. 
very unrelatable, but it's like very relatable with the characters. Like the situations that they get in, like they're very over dramatic and stuff like that. You know, like nothing like that is gonna happen in real life. But it it's it's a good show because like the characters are just normal people. Yeah, it just makes me think about me, to be honest. Like when I go and I think about Mordecai and Rigby and Rigby's just like, Oh my god, I can't graduate high school like literally me. Not literally like I'm a graduate, but mm-hmm. still it's like, Oh my god and then Mordecai has like his smarts and like Skips is like all wise and stuff. It's great. The and Benson are all great. is angry and I'm angry and oh God. Damn relate it. everything. You know, I relate to Pops because <laughs> I have a mustache. Hey. I relate to Pops because I'm weird. Hey guys, uh, this is kind of off topic now, but uh, what's a DM? <laughs> direct DM message. Direct messages. Oh, I was thinking like Dungeon Master. That's kinky. Slide into your Dungeon Master. <laughs> this is why no well, one wants no. to slide into your DMs. It's no. because you're in a Dungeon Master. I'm, I'm thinking of like Dungeons and Dragons or like uh, my. Uh, Okay. <laughs> I don't, uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah. Hey, I just want to make this be known that from now on, in the at the end of the video, there's going to be a card slide and stuff like that, and there's going to be Nick's face. If you click on that, I'm going to have a link to a random video. It's kind of off-topic, uh, off-topic, <laughs> off-topic, but you know. I have this uh, thing, it's genetic, where I see um, Nick's face and I just like throw up everywhere. Oh so I would rather not do that you know but it, de- it leads you to something that probably doesn't have nick's face in it yeah yeah like i would totally click on it but his face is there so then i'm like mm, do i want to puke today eh. also a quick thing we also have our podcast on uh soundcloud if you click the <laughs> i button soundcloud <laughs> is a cool company <laughs> song clown uh <laughs> SoundCloud. we have it there if you click the i in the top right of the screen on youtube it'll take you to take you to our soundcloud just so you know i figured out how to work that <laughs> soundcloud makes me smile because there's just so many different personalities oh shout out to blair the captain this really shitty music i'm just guy. kidding oh oh i said that. uh i'm sorry i'll cut it out okay <laughs> um yeah but i mean there's music on there shout out to felicia Felicia Raptor. She's like the only good one on SoundCloud besides um this beautiful piece of mastery. The one that you're on? The thing? The podcast? Yeah, this thing. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I honestly I haven't watched any of the episodes and I'm here and I was actually kinda surprised. Wow. That you, I, I was could like... see I could already see like two people in the comments <laughs> because we don't have many fans saying, Oh my gosh, when am I gonna get on the podcast? When am I gonna get on? Because you know, I listen to you guys every week. Like <laughs> And oh, here gosh, I am guys, ungrateful. Calm down. Gosh, we need to change our fan base. I mean, I'm not even a fan, so here I am. I'm just kind of rolling with the punches, I guess. She's a friend, and that's more important than a f- I, I'd rather call it, like, a friend of me. Like, I have no friends in high school, so, like, I kind of hang out with them. And then after high school, like, I'll get over it and, like, start a life, you know? You know? That's not how life works. Well, that's how my life works. I'm sad. I need help. We had a subject in mind, didn't we? <laughs> Music. Yeah. Hey. What? So, how about the Mets? We're still not on subject. You know what subject is, Chris? <laughs> it's just an idea it's in your imagination. Common man. core. But how <laughs> how can a subject really be a subject when you're thinking about it, but at the same time, the audience isn't thinking about the same thing? So a subject is really quite arbitrary when thinking about the geopolitical scale of the entire universe when existential thought is nothing but a bean in the entire vine of the planet freshman year i needed a helping class in math and i think i need a helping class for life right now need a helping class just for nick yeah (laughs) i I need a translator every time i'm by you like you say some off the wall crap and i'm like wait what you know what's uh what's uh pretty funny we were watching a video the other day and they they did something similar to that they were like they they just started talking about all these things and how like they were talking about like the world and planet whatnot and like i was listening to it and like but like I understood what they were saying, like the words, and they were just saying things that had <laughs> nothing to do with like each other. Like they were just saying random big words. I felt they were like, oh, uh, uh, Nirvana, Euphoria, photosynthesis, agriculture, agrarian equestrian system of the planet Thetos, uh, something in Greek. 
it, it was kind of just like, what are they talking about? Speaking about Nirvana, how about Kurt Cobain? Do you think that he was murdered by Courtney Love? Or Pro- do you think that he just is straight he a, up killed himself? Well, is per- he alive? Well, personally, I believe in anti-establishmentarianism because I think uh, uh... Kurt Cobain is really just a figment of our imagination. And <laughs> that if you look at uh, Freudian psychology, you will learn that uh, everything really has to do with uh, uh, music and how it affects us because music theory tells me that music is really the center of the universe and that uh, duct tape is really the center of music and so if everything is duct tape then aren't we duct tape but if we are duct tape how do we know we're not just the creations of somebody who likes making duct tape origami and if we're just duct tape origami then what are skateboards? Nick, stop lying. <laughs> I want to hit myself in the face. <laughs> But wh- Bam! <laughs> wow, I hit you uh, in the face. Uh, mommy and Daddy are fighting again. Again. Yeah. Shut up. Nick's back at it again with the kinks. I hate you. <laughs> you turned my life into applesauce. Anyway, but I, I think, I don't know, there's like lots of like facts and stuff. Like, well, I wouldn't say facts. I guess accusation saying that like... Kurt Cobain was killed by Courtney Love. So, Common Core. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have so many different subjects. Like, you're going to have to watch this video five times. I think, uh, you know, we forgot to tell you guys, but this is actually a special episode. Uh, in this special episode, uh, we we, uh, we have a guest. Yeah, we did never... We? Did we? You know what? Yeah, we did. It's just been so long that I forgot. We're that... mentioning... Um... Wow, time does fly. Look at that. No, but I say that we have a guest, but I just really mentioned that because we, we, we might have this guest next week, but I don't know. He said that he hated me, and I was like... Oh, Man. yeah, he wasn't having a good day today. He gave me dirty looks. Yeah, he was, was bullying me the whole time, and I was like, hey, man, could you stop that? And he was like, spaghetti! And I was like, what'd you say about spaghetti? You Gosh. know, spaghetti was the thing that killed you my father. You don't know nothing about spaghetti. My mom used to drink spaghetti out of a pitcher, then she drowned Nick's father inside of the spaghetti. Exactly, and that's how Chris and I became friends. Gosh, the murder of Nick's father was the best thing that happened in my life. In reality, Nick just clipped clipboards to his shirt, and then he got a dirty look from the guy. Yeah, that, that's actually what happened. <laughs> that's literally uh, all that happened. <laughs> he's like, look at you with your fancy clothing. It looked like a really cool dress. Like, you could have been Jaden no, really. Smith if you I, tried I thought it, it was cool. I it, was kind of like, whoa. It, it looked like armor. I was enjoying it. We'll have to try it again uh, tomorrow, and then I'll take a picture and maybe post it on YouTube or something. We'll put it at the end of this video. If we have it. If, if we it have exists. It, yeah. If it didn't, I'm sorry. Maybe he can get another dirty look. I'll put little oh, yeah. writing. Dirty put little writing best. right here, right now. It says, uh, hey, sorry. True story, though. My my dad is still Maybe. with me, and I love my dad again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I Thinking like about my, my dad dying just made me sad, so that's why I said that. It doesn't matter. I like my bed. Uh, I like my bed. Hey, that's I, my I, thing. I like, I, like, I like my bed. I do it the best. Okay, I was playing Firewatch, like these losers. Ow! You that got was an my accident. Hair. Check and out he... our Firewatch game. Hey, right? shut up. No, Shout let me talk. Wow, there's a link here, 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 oh there, here, gosh. there, everywhere. Damn it. Anyway, but I played Firewatch, and I was, like, just chilling. And I was walking in every direction, because I don't know how to read a map. <sighs> anyway, but um, I was, like, screaming. I wasn't screaming. I was just like, I it's like my bed. It's not that you don't know how to use a map. It's that you don't know how to use a compass. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is north? Oh, S for North, okay. I'm Native American. I follow the wind. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I guess uh, it's about time to wrap up this podcast. No! Wait, what? Really? But it's, Chris, been, it's been well over but our regular time. Chris, since we have a third person, I think they need some extra time to talk. I come for ten extra minutes? Uh, no, let's just end it here. I hate you guys. Goodbye. See you later. I just kind of feel like we didn't get anything okay, done. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Just kidding. Lol, well, JK, JK, oh, got JK. You. Yeah, they got me too. You got depressed. Didn't LOL. You? IDK. I, I didn't understand, honestly. I was like, wait, we didn't talk about anything. I was putting my hand over her mouth because she was like, ah, I want to say something. And I was yeah, like, I had no. to hit her a couple times, but I turned off her mic. Yeah. Sometimes I need to reevaluate my life, but I feel like this is the only love I'll ever get. So. At least on podcast, you can't see the bruises. <laughs> hey. I need help. I know. There's a black dot on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> No, domestic abuse is not cool. Yeah, no, oh please, gosh. please. Any form love, of abuse. Love your hey, loved ones. Hey. Mm-hmm. I know it's not, it's like really late, but you know, how do you really feel about uh, what happened with that girl that you talked to me about on YouTube? You were talking, I forgot her name. 
Who the one that was captured and stuff. Oh, Marina Joyce? Yeah. Oh, she's I remember fine. You were the one that introduced her to me. Yeah, okay, because, like, some crazy stuff hit the fan about, like, her being kidnapped and she had bruises all over, whatever. But then, like, she went, I think it was on Twitch. And she, <laughs> Twitch, because <laughs> she's been accused of doing drugs. Anyway. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, she ended up being fine. And, like, um, this guy called Jazz Games, he actually, would, like, mm-hmm. checked up with her on Twitter and was like, hey, are you okay? And, like, they talked and whatever. So she's fine. That's over and done with. It's a gimmick. And albeit, it was pretty good. But now she's going to start losing a bunch of subscribers. She got, like, a million. Yeah. Could you imagine if we did crazy things like that just to get subscribers? I mean, I definitely don't have a gun to my head right now. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, Ariana isn't actually some random person we met and then kidnapped off the street. And then no she's way. Be reported there. Yeah, these guys aren't really ISIS. No one sense, quote unquote, uh, kindergarten. I, I, I didn't say anything about Impossible. Ariana. Uh, her social security number is five, five, Nick, five, stop. Five, 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 Nicholas. Seven. Five. Nicholas and Chris live in Fresno, California. Now we're going to get hacked. Yeah, I know. Honestly, though, can, let's cut this part out. Yeah. 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 We're going to bleep it because I don't want to get axe murdered to see. <laughs> oh, look, there's cats playing outside. How cute. Wait, really? Oh, kitties. Oh, I see it. Kitties. They're, they're going to mate. Look at those pussies. Dude, that's not okay. Yeah. That's not no, okay. No, 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 no. See, there's a story behind that. My mom used to work with the Scottish lady, right? And, uh, you know, she's Scottish. And in Scotland, they call uh, little cats pussies. And she liked to go up to people that, you know, she hadn't met. And she would walk up and she, would, you know, she likes cats. She'd have a picture on her phone and she'd go, you want to see my pussy? And it, it was, and my mom was like, oh, God, because my mom does that. She goes, oh, God. And then, and then she, she was like, oh, my, oh, it's a cat, you know, and she likes to freak people out. But, uh, yeah, uh, she actually passed away pretty recently. Uh, oh, I'm sorry but, to hear that, man. Yeah. Re- rest in peace. Let's uh, take a. You want a silence? Yeah. Okay. So, Chris, what kind of music are you into? I, uh, I've i been listening to this guy recently called Frank Jov C. Got a link from Super Mega. You can check both of them out. Um, and, I don't know, it's like, kind of like, it's just computer stuff, you know? Like, I really like him, though. Like, as of recently, that's just what I've been listening to. Uh, it's mm-hmm. kind of like the type of stuff that we're hoping to learn to do, because uh, we mm-hmm. recently got in got our hands on this uh, free music uh program and we've been playing with that basically just about every night trying yeah, to just learn learning how to do, how to do stuff uh yeah. chris you remember what that program is called lmms lmms now that stands for long media multi-system is and that bit- is that really what it stands for yeah, well of course why would i lie on this podcast oh yeah no lying. lying on this podcast ever uh but basically oh, what that means broke the rules. is that you get to press buttons and then cool stuff comes out it goes whoop 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 doop 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 Wow! Have you have you actually like made a song yet? Uh, I I made one song, but uh, then my computer died and I wasn't actually able to save it, which is so depressing because I I was honestly I was actually quite proud of it because I was like, hey, this doesn't this doesn't suck. Maybe my mom mm-hmm. will show me some appreciation for once. But uh, nope, didn't happen. I I uh, I made a, a minute and a half I think worth of music so far, and it's all in one song. And it sounds pretty good. I have a Game Boy emulator in there, and I know that's lame, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to change that. That's the only complaint I have about the song so far. See, I don't make music like you guys do, but I do listen to storytellers. See, this guy. Okay, well, this band of guys. They're called Cage the Elephant. They're really good. They're like... Mm, quick al- shout out to Cage. Dude, yeah. Anyway, they're like indie alternative, but they're really good. Like, they have some songs on there, like... I don't know. It's just really beautiful the way they put things into perspective, and it's like ugh, just captures your heart and engulfs you with like love and understanding. <laughs> What's that one song that they probably know? Cigarette Daydreams. Yep. So if you know <laughs> that song, you probably like all of their music or just that song. I think the song that they would more more likely know is probably Oh, Come uh, a Little Closer. Or uh, Shake Me Down. Ain't No Rest for the Wicked. Or oh yeah, or Ain't hey, No Rest. Uh, for the the one song that everybody's heard ever. Actually, you know, it's funny cuz in their new album, uh they okay, they So have this Common song. Core. Can you not? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they have um Ain't No Rest for the Wicked and then in their new album in one of the lyrics they're like, "You know what so you know what they say? Yeah, the wicked get no rest." And I was like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh. I fangirled for like a Cool shout out two minutes. Shout out to another song. 
right? Shout out to their whole life. And Chris, existence. why don't we why don't we do shout outs to other podcasts? Remember that time that we we, we called our our fans dabsters? Yeah. Could you imagine if that stuck? That would suck. <laughs> oh it's, man. It's cancerous. Hey. <laughs> sorry. Hey. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I just kind of threw up. Anyway, but I'm also listening to a cool reggae band called the Dirty Heads, and they're like really good. Dirty Heads. They're, they're really great. not reggae. I hate okay, their name. Okay, they're like they, white boy reggae. Mm-hmm. I feel like if they had a better name, I'd like them more. But Dirty Heads just makes it sound like well, I the have Dirty poor Heads. Music they got that name because they went uh, to the liquor store, and I think the story is right. But they went to the liquor store and they stole some beer, and then they ran out. And then this um the cashier person was like, "Hey, get back here, you Dirty Heads!" And so they're like, "Hey, let's go get stoned." Uh, and then they're like, "Whoa, hey, let's make but- this into a thing." They're they're bad role models, and I think that's another reason why I don't like them. Because I if support I, what, what if I liked them, and then all of my uh, my future uh, followers and students of my ways in life, they'll be like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe we heard this podcast from 30 years ago. You said you liked a band <laughs> that did bad things, and therefore you're a bad person." I'd be like, "Wow, I'm not running for president?" They smoke marijuana and they drink alcohol. If that's hey. the worst thing they can do. That's hey. awful. They have fun. They have a good time. I'm they not, make beautiful music. I don't mm-hmm. support this behavior. <laughs> the only thing I support is going to uh, going to 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 to. to uh, you also support Mitt Romney. No, I'm hey, just kidding. Nick, get out. <laughs> Did you know that Mitt Romney is a robot from the future? Mitt Romney's gay. He's oh, no, gay oh, with no. Obama. They is had that, a love affair. <laughs> is that Mitt Romney? Mitt Romney outside of the window. <gasps> oh my God! He's gonna shoot lasers. He's coming for your life. It's he Mitt shoots Romney. lasers out of his <laughs> eyes uh, to okay, terrorize. Okay. Border jumpers and sometimes he. Okay, flies. so let's shout let's, out to a barely political with that one. Sorry. Let's wrap up this podcast. Uh, we could each say three words of what this podcast is about, and uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, glad you enjoyed this long podcast. Okay, so uh, Nick, you can start off. No. No, you say three words, Nick. Oh, we'd say uh, three words about yeah, yeah, what yeah. it's about. Uh, uh, no freaking idea. Um, hmm. Random, awful. Oh, common core. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I'm gonna kill. Oh yeah, killing. <laughs> that, you can't even do it. Kill yourself. You can do that, but like, I want to kill myself. Yeah. How about really random? I'm just gonna say really, really random. How about that? Wow. Um. Lying. Cheating. Affair. And that was the podcast today. I know we're super cool, but I mean, if you don't like us anymore, feel free to leave the country. You Get ding, out of here, you, you ding dong doodly dummies. But if you're Native American, you can stay and help with the Dakota Your pipeline. Your opinion doesn't matter. All help right. with the Dakota Pipeline. So, um, Common Core. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye guys. See you next nice week. Thanks being on here. Bye. Bye. So uh, how would you guys think that went? I mean, this is our first guest. I thought that was pretty good. I thought it was it was better. It was better than Zach. I mean, I didn't really care for it to be honest. I thought it was pretty bad. Uh, well, I I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of parts where we were talking together, but I I mean, I thought it was all right. I I don't know. Like I mean, that that was pretty much a serious conversation between us, but I don't know there were just some parts where I was I like I felt like we were all off topic majorly. Like one second we're hey. talking about regular show and then the next it was like haha, <laughs> common core. Hey, that was that was. I wasn't trying to like cut you off. Quick gag. Just I, I saw that as a gag. Yeah, I mean. Your mom's a gag.